Hello everyone and welcome back to Tag Team Recoveries. Uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody. I uh, hope y'all all have been well. Um, it has been a little while since we have put out a video here, but uh, we are back at it now. It's been kind of a long winter deer hunting season and finding spots to hunt, but uh, we've been able to get out here lately and I uh, hope all of y'all have been too. But uh, yeah, so we're getting back at it again. And uh, Daniel and I have been hitting a few spots and uh, this is kind of like a uh, makeshift video uh, for today. But uh, we've got a nice little spot that we're hunting and uh, we're actually getting into some good stuff, early colonial stuff. But uh, yeah, I wanna show you a few things. Uh, we got a few clips of a uh, dig that we did just a few days ago. Um, but we're going to go back out there here this coming Saturday and uh, try to get back at it. But we got into a nice little colonial pit and, and like I said, we, w we weren't expecting to do much out there. Uh, we didn't know if we were going to locate one or not. But uh, yeah, I want to show you a couple things that we use to find these colonial pits and stuff and, uh, and show you some of the stuff that we have found. But anyhow, um, what we do like uh, using uh, to locate these pits uh, I do recommend is a six foot long probing rod and th th these things right here are a must to have if you're gonna end up uh, looking for trash pits and also a sifter and this is the type of sifter that I use here this one here I made just out of regular 2 before and used chicken wire in it and that helps you know to run the dirt and stuff through it i've got some broken bottle pieces and stuff in there right now just where i've been storing stuff but um as you can see some of the stuff that we do find in there when we're digging these pits of course you'll find uh pieces of bone and stuff like that from where they were eating and they throw these scraps in these pits and uh just a bunch of other broken glass iron and stuff like that and there's some broken pieces from earlier when we dug in there but uh yeah big old piece of flint and stuff like that but uh yeah we're uh we're gonna get back at it here soon and get some more videos and stuff done but uh yeah i just wanted to show you guys a little bit of what we have been doing and uh i just appreciate you guys bearing with us and we're gonna get back out there and really get hopefully get some videos out this uh winter here but uh, yeah, the uh, last uh, two days ago when we got out there, um, we ended up finding another pile of good stuff there. So I'll show you some of the stuff we got here on the ground. But uh, these are some of the bottles and stuff that we dug, bottle pieces, more pottery and stuff like that. And uh, you'll see this in a short video clip. This is one that Daniel had recovered and old cups and stuff like that. And just really cool. Uh, we got pieces of Delfware, and all of this would have decorated around the fireplace. Piles of iron, different other pieces of pottery shards and stuff like that. So, but uh, digging these colonial pits, it is just really, really cool um, to sift through this. We did get some flat buttons and stuff like that, early tomback buttons. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna get back at it and and start probing again this weekend the pit is roughly it's about three and a half feet deep and ten feet across so we got a lot of digging to do and so i'll get the camera back out there this weekend and we're going to spend some time with this one and hopefully we get like a cut coin or something out of there some other eating utensils and stuff like that complete shoe buckles but again thank you so much for coming in um and watching our videos and everything it really does mean a lot to us but we'll get some more out there i wanted to share these little techniques and stuff that uh i do do while we're out there like i said with the um, sifter and the probing rod which is right there and you can get these anywhere it's just old t-handle this one here is about i guess it's about four and a half foot long something like that and most of these pits ain't much deeper than that and then of course the uh, the sifter you can make yourself like i said i just used two befores and chicken wire and uh nail that stuff on the end you know to sift the dirt and stuff through look for glass buttons and stuff right, like that guys. well i just wanted to share those little techniques and stuff with you 
uh, I hope you enjoy this little clip that I put together here on this short hunt and uh, we will see you guys on the next one and uh, I'm gonna get some more good content out this uh, winter here for you guys and again as always thank you so much for stopping in and best of luck to all y'all out there hunting see y'all soon All right, well, Daniel and I have been out here for a couple hours. We opened up an old pit that uh, we worked on a couple times. Uh, Daniel's got a couple of little knickknacks here, and we got a base to bottle. He's getting ready to extract in mid 1700s. Uh, he's got another one he dug off about a foot away from this one, probably about 20 minutes ago. Oh, yeah, big old fat base. Look at that. Yeah. We're deep enough to find them complete, but looks like so far everything we've gotten thrown in has just gotten busted up. But hey, bud. Good job. They're in here. Yep. There you guys. Well, if we get anything else, we'll holler at you. Good job, buddy. Hey guys, well, we've pulled a few buttons out of here and uh, some other little knickknacks and stuff and uh, part of a shoe buckle. But, uh, Daniel's got a neck little bottle here. You can see it sitting right up in there. It wasn't too far away from where he uh, dug the base, which was probably about over there where, where he's right by where I'm sitting. His here. foot is at. So we'll watch this while he pulls that out. Looks like he's got a good bit of the. Uh, the shoulders to it oh yeah look at that oh that's dude. pretty that's beautiful dude heck yeah sweet dude sweet heck yeah, yeah man yeah hopefully we've got enough pieces to it and yeah with it all being sitting right there but that is that's bad gotta take a look out of here already a lot of different pottery shards and stuff like that got an iron spur that is really cool I like that uh, a couple of shoe buckles down here a couple flat buttons pipe stems all right well we got a deep hole going on about four feet across five feet across three feet deep Good. I like that. All right. Alrighty, guys. We'll get back at it. 